Well, uh, next topic is uh, osmoregulation in vertebrates. Osmoregulation means that uh, the vertebrates jo hai, wo water balance ko maintain karte. This is what is called as uh, the osmoregulation. So there's a variety of mechanisms which have been evolved in vertebrates to cope with uh, the osmoregulatory problems and most of them are adaptations of the urinary system. Because the urinary system is the system which has maximum water loss. And this is also the case of nitrogen waste bhi, is ki removal. Hoti hai. Isliye, this is very important this is to maintain the osmoregulation. If you want to retain water, then the urine will pass. If you want to lose water, loss karna ho ya that is there is something which is uh, which is automatic that is under the control of nerves or under the control of the hormones so the vertebrates have a closed circulatory system jisse hum pata hai containing blood that is under pressure or ye under pressure jo hai you can say that is by the throbbing of the heart or by muscular contraction now this pressure yahi pressure hai jo ke phir uh, that is uh, blood uh, ke blood forces the, to pass through the membranes or membrane kaha hai that is usually that is in the in the in the uh, in the kidneys or we you can say that is uh, in the part of uh, the excretory system where the following three functions which occur which are very important functions which we will study in detail mein padenge, or yahan pe simple naam rahe hon ya thodi bahut uski explanation hai that is filtration then reabsorption or secretion or yeh wo teen main process hai jo ki kidneys ke andar hote hai this may first is filtration the filtration kya hai jaysa ki naam se zahir ho raha hai ke blood is filtered or phir filtrate banta hai or uh, filter ke oopar jaysa hum residue kehti hai they, they are usually the red blood cells then white blood cells yeah bigger cells so in this process blood passes through a filter that retains blood cells, proteins, and other large solutes, but let small molecules, that is, uh, ions and urea, that is, pass through. So, this filter ka kaam hota hai. Agar humne filter paper se koi cheez ko filter karna hai, to zahir hai. Something, the smaller things which pass through the filter paper, or jab ke residue mein wo cheeze aati hai, which cannot pass through, which are usually, that is, bigger molecules. Then uh, next is process that is reabsorption. Reabsorption that means ke the, the reabsorption there is a selective reabsorption. Select molecules jo hai, they are they come back again into the bloodstream. Or is kamaksa wuhi ke no maintain the 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 solute concentration uh, and taken back into the bloodstream from the filter. A filtrate jo aya hai usme se phir jo Chida chida chize hain, ya but important chize hain, they are then, they are, they are absorbed again into the bloodstream. And lastly, the secretion, this, this is a process, or this may be, we select molecules and end products of metabolism, which is, which are usually potassium, then uh, hydrogen or ammonia, is kisam ki chize jo hai, they are, uh, they are reabsorbed they are they are in the blood and added to the filtrate for removal from the body or ye bhi phir wapas that is uh, kuch isme selection hoti hai which are to be retained within the blood and which are to be uh, that is absorbed into the into the uh, into the coming out urine so isme or is tarah the urine that comes out of uh, the body containing the excessive water as well as containing the excessive solutes so which are surplus which are surplus so ye, these are three very important steps ke jis ke se ye osmoregulation hoti hai. so first the blood is filtered then there's the reabsorption occurs and lastly the secretion so this is all about this small topic so this is all 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 that